പി എഫ് ഒ ഇസ് ഷോർട്ട് ഫോം ഫോർ പേറ്റൻ ഫൊറാമൻ ഓയിൽ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ സ്മോൾ കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻ ഫ്രം റൈറ്റ് ഏട്രിയം ടു ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഏട്രിയം റൈറ്റ് ഏട്രിയം ഇസ് ദ റൈറ്റ് അപ്പർ ചേമ്പർ ആൻഡ് ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഏട്രിയം ദ ലെഫ്റ്റ് അപ്പർ ചേമ്പർ ഫൊറാമൻ ഓയിൽ ഇസ് എ കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻ പ്രസൻറ്റ് ഇൻ ദ ബേബി വൈൽ ഇൻ ദ മദേഴ്സ് വൂം ഇറ്റ് ക്ലോസസ് ഓഫ് സൂൺ ആഫ്റ്റർ ബർത്ത് സോ ദാറ്റ് there is no communication between the two upper chambers in most persons but occasionally a small opening may persist and then it is called pfo foramen ovale is an oblique opening through the wall between the two upper chambers of the heart when the pressure in the left atrium rises after birth as the lungs become functional it presses on the left side of the opening and closes it If there is a residual opening most of the time there is no leakage of blood across the PFO but occasionally as in straining the pressure in the right atrium transiently rises so that blood passes from the right atrium to the left atrium across the PFO another situation is a stretched open PFO when the pressure in the right or left atrium rises significantly due to another disease the atrium enlarges and stretches the wall between the two atria along with it when the pfo is stretched blood can flow either way depending on which side has the higher pressure if it is the left atrium which is enlarged the stretched open pfo will shunt blood in a left to right direction and vice versa If too much of right atrial blood with lower oxygen content reaches the left atrium the oxygen saturation in the blood vessels of the body can fall leading to bluish discoloration of skin small pfo cannot produce much problem due to the shunting of blood across it unless it is stretched open by other diseases but small clots from the leg veins or tummy can occasionally pass across it to the left atrium this is a risky situation the clot can move from the left atrium to the left ventricle and then to the aorta left ventricle is the lower muscular chamber which pumps blood to the whole body aorta is the large blood vessel arising from the left ventricle from the aorta the clot can move to any part of the blood circulation If it gets lodged in a blood vessel of the brain and blocks it a stroke with paralysis may occur passage of blood clots from the right side of the heart to the left side across a pfo is known as paradoxical embolism most important problem with paradoxical embolism is stroke though it can also get lodged in any other blood vessel of the body and cause damage to that region Some advocate closure of the PFO with a device especially after a stroke to prevent recurrence. This is considered only if right to left shunting across the PFO is demonstrated. PFO can be documented by ultrasound study of the heart known as echocardiogram. It will also show right to left shunting during certain types of strain suggesting the risk of paradoxical embolism. Another test is transcranial Doppler an ultrasound study of the head which looks for tiny air bubbles in the blood vessels of the brain for detecting a right to left shunt across the PFO agitated saline containing tiny air bubbles is injected into the forearm vein if the air bubbles are detected by the transcranial Doppler machine it is presumed that tiny blood clots can also pass across the pfo to produce a stroke right to left flow of tiny air bubbles in the agitated saline will be seen in the left atrium on echocardiogram thank you for watching this video please subscribe like share and post your valuable comment below this video